are now live. We were going to just do a video on this, but we figured we'd show you real time what we've got going on here. I'll wait for a couple people to pop on before I start getting into the nitty gritty. Well, we want you to be able to ask questions. One of our most number one thing that we get asked questions on is about spraying paint. And we haven't done a ton of spraying recently because it's been cold, but it's yeah. it's about 45, <laughs> 50, which is still a little cold, but warm enough that we can spray and it's not windy. Yeah, it, I mean, really under 60, you run the risk of having runs and drips. It just takes a long time to dry, but it's not gonna hurt these DIY, this clay-based paint no, or chalk paints. It's not gonna really mess with them like it would uh, like an oil-based paint. So we're gonna try to answer questions about spraying paint while we're doing it, um, but uh, we will probably wait till he's not actually spraying it on there. Hello, yeah. Candy. Um, and Zeb's gonna give you a little brief rundown of what we're doing in here. So this is just the Harbor Freight HVLP 20 ounce hopper on it. This is their, if you get it on sale, it's their $10 model. If you don't find it on sale, I think it's up around 15 now. And I've marked the side of the canister here of the hopper it's got ounces and milliliters over here so i use ounces that's that's how i roll but i didn't have a full 20 ounces of paint that i wanted to use so what i did was i just filled it up to the 15 out or the 12 and a half ounce mark right here and then i do three parts paint one part water so that was essentially two and a half ounces of water in there and I marked so you can kind of see how much paint to water I did and you can do the math on that just multiply it by 0.25 and that's how much water you should have if you get your ounce mark here and to be very specific this is just the ratio that we use for DIY paint mm -hmm. when you're using other paints the ratio is gonna be different DIY is clay based heavily pigmented and very thick paint so that's why we have to do three parts paint to one part water if you're using like Fairy Chalk Mother or another chalk paint brand, they're not as thick, so you're not going to add as much water. But this is specific to the DIY paint that we sell at jamierayvintage.com. I'm the one who mixed the colors. So I've got 75% Apothecary with 25% White Swan. I lightened it up. A lot of the DIY paint is really... Um, That's the pink. color on it. Yeah, it's really bright. And so when I want to do like a lighter, softer color, I just add White Swan. And that's how I get like my lighter, softer colors. So I'm using the apothecary mixed with the white swan and then he's got the ratios here that you can see. So another thing to know on this DIY paint, um, because it's pretty close to the ratio on water that I use for the fairy chalk mother paint when I'm spraying, but I turn the air pressure up. Normally I spray at about 55 to 60 PSI and this is going to be closer to 70 because that clay, it almost will splatter on, but don't get nervous because it levels on out and it and it, you get a really nice good coverage on it. So I am going to put my mask oh, on. Well, let's talk oh. about a few more things though. You always wanna make sure that oh, this, yeah. this little spout here, this is where the air comes out, make sure that's clean. And then when we clean it, we unscrew this. There's a little trap down in here. You always wanna make sure that that's clean. And you can, we usually will take it in our sink and put water down it and pull the trigger and like clean out that way or we use our hose to clean this out and we actually take the little trap out and clean that. So that's really important that this, this is where you're gonna look, this is where you're gonna look and then Zeb, show them where you adjust on the back. So real quick, since we're talking about the gun, I have a full video on it, but since we're doing it live here, so this is your paint flow adjustment. You just screw this out and then you can lock it down so that, and right now I've got it pretty much out as far as it'll go so that I can get maximum paint flow because that, that that DIY paint's thick. And then this is your air adjustment here. So if your air pressure, if you feel like it's spraying a little bit too misty, you can, you can adjust it. And then this is the, your directional control essentially. So like if you want to spray a small little circle or if you want it to be wider, this is, this is your adjustment there. And then this here, this will make it so that it either sprays horizontal or vertical spray when you're spraying. So you can just unscrew this here and then twist that around and that's how you get that, just kind of some basics on the gun. Well, and the thing about spraying paint is it eliminates brush strokes. You can spray, the, I love spraying the inside of cabinets because brushing is a real big pain in the bum. I always get paint like from here down to there when I'm <laughs> <laughs> spraying inside, brushing inside a cabinet. And then I'm gonna show you real quickly, please ignore what's the coldest outdoor Tampa spray gun will tolerate, probably under 40, I wouldn't do it, and yeah. windy. Are you gonna show them the garage? Why are you I, gonna show I am the gonna show you the garage. I'm sorry, Zeb, Why? I gotta do it, because I wanna show, just, you'll be okay. <laughs> All right, sorry, our garage is really messy, but that over there is our air, move your foot. Sorry, da, da, da. 
They see the air compressor. It's well, a I'm just gonna show it to them because maybe they haven't. Maybe they're new subscribers. Well, I'm so gonna that. Put my mask on while you're okay, that. Zeb's putting his mask on. This is our 60 gallon Husky, um, and you can use a smaller air compressor. I wouldn't go smaller than an eight gallon hair air compressor. Um, we used an eight gallon for a long time, and we about we about killed it after a year. But we have a 60 gallon now and it's great. You definitely don't need something that big. That's from Home Depot. And our spray gun is from Harbor Freight. It's the purple one. Um, they have, oops, there goes the UPS guy. They have a pro gun that's like $70, which is the bomb. But we buy the cheap ones because we don't clean our guns out really well and we just replace them when they get nasty. So it's up to you. And there's definitely better guns on the market by this ordering. So, all right, Zeb's gonna get to spraying. I, when I'm doing cabinet like this, I always like to spray the inside first and then we go to the outside. So, and this is a cute little like vintage cabinet I picked up today. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. It was $50. It's not super big. You can see like compared to Zeb, I mean, it's small. <laughs> he drove two hours to get it. He wasn't super thrilled. All right, he's gonna get spraying, and I'm gonna look at comments so when he's done spraying, I can hey, come back and in, answer questions. Bring him in closer. You guys, you guys want to come closer? Isn't it such a cute little cabinet? I thought it was cute. I'm always on the hunt for like the perfect pieces. It's 11:42, and they have snow. LL. So I always, I always either spray my tarp. I always either spray a little test spot on my tarp or on the back just to make sure my consistency and airflow is good. You want to angle this down so you just show them what I'm doing here? Okay, there we go. And I like this in a little bit thicker stream. It's going to take me a little bit longer to get coverage on there, but I'm going to do the smaller, rounder stream, almost like a uh, like a can of spray paint, and I, I get best coverage with this DIY paint like that. So real quick, let me bring you up close. You can see here, it's kind of, it's a little splattery. It looks like it's almost like you're uh, spraying something textured on there. You can kind of see that right there. Don't worry about that. It'll, it levels into itself. And as long as you don't get it on so thick that it's running, you'll get real nice smooth coverage. And you can always like take a fine sandpaper and buff it too. It's just one of the things with clay paint, it's not going to spray. If you've only ever sprayed like latex and stuff, it's not exactly the same. So it does take a little getting used to. But it is, gives you a nice even finish and no brush strokes. See what I'm doing over here? Yeah, I'm watching you. So real quick, you can see normally you'd probably spray um, right here around six to eight inches away. I'm a little farther out. I'm probably closer to 14, 15 inches away because I'm spraying at a higher pressure. If I get too close, it's gonna have so much paint coming out that it'll start to run or drip and, and all that get a real uneven texture. So on this DIY paint, I just pull it away a little bit. Make sure you're not gonna get overspray on anything you care about. Make sure you got a tarp on the ground. And I mean, I've already done the whole inside there while you guys have been watching and this whole inside of the cabinet door. Camera 
Let me see. Thanks, Harper. I haven't even uh, I haven't even showered yet, so that's a good compliment. Okay, so the name of the paint. It, oh, Zeb's gonna turn off there. Okay, good. So the name of the paint that we just used. It's DIY paint in apothecary, 75% mixed with 25% white swan, and you can get it at jamierayvintage.com. <laughs> And we're done. Like the entire thing is painted. We're gonna let it dry. We'll distress it. It might need a little bit of touch up because we're distressing it. I think we probably won't need to do that. Here, let me show you close up. You can't really see the splatters. Yeah. We'll I don't know you if you guys could see on. what I was talking about, but but you can kind of it's see it's like got a little bit of texture as it dries. That will all smooth out. It won't have any orange peel at all. And looks like I missed a little spot under here, but oh, can you go grab me the hopper? Where'd I put that? Yeah. I was going to show them how much I had left. But just there watching us live, I mean, you can see how long it takes to paint something. Prep so on this. We started out with a, about, what, 20 ounces? So just no, over. No, so it was right at. It was 16 ounces, right? So it was right at like 15 and a half ounces. So we started out with a pint of paint. We painted the whole thing. And look how much paint we have left. That's the kind of coverage you get from DIY paint. So. So that gives you an idea. But what I was talking about on the prep. All I did before I did this was I went over it with 220 on the orbital sander. Oh, sorry, I'm putting you back on the tripod. All I did was he, uh, yeah, just one coat. Um, the whites, sometimes we spray two coats. But these colors, when you spray them on, one coat is good. But he just used the orbital sander and the 220. There were some drips from the previous paint job. He sanded those out, and then we just wiped it down. But we didn't, like, sand the whole piece. Oh, There goes our neighbor and the motorcycle. <laughs> Hang on, time out for the neighbor on the motorcycle. We're pretty much done, unless you guys have some questions for us. Were you yeah, getting we any take, questions? We can take them inside. All right, go ahead and haul that inside. All right, then. we're gonna go inside while that dries. Hopefully it's not a madhouse inside. <laughs> we have no idea what's going on inside. My parents could be fighting. 
My kids could be, who knows, that's bad. Yeah, so um, we will seal it in a couple of hours. But I probably won't seal it outside. Eliza, we're live. So shh. Every pap oh look, Jeff. they're having a snack. This is what our kitchen normally looks like when we're not live. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta adjust the tripod. Okay, we're gonna right adjust now. the tripod and then we'll go and we'll answer any questions you guys have. Show them all your freeloaders. Your freeloaders, my dad, my dad's here. He wants to say hi to my dad. Hi, how are you guys doing? There's the old guy. No, no bad words. We don't, we actually don't curse. I might say crud every now and then. Hi, can I say hi? Can you say hi, Jack? Say hi, Jack. Hi. <laughs> All right, what are they, are they? My dad does have a great head of hair, and he's actually pretty um, proud of that. All right, we're going to sit down, and we'll answer your questions now that it's drying. We are going to seal it. We'll probably seal it with Big Top, but we can spray the sealer on, and sometimes what we do is we spray it, and then we move it inside so it'll dry faster, because the sealer, the sealer is really temperamental when it's cold, mm -hmm. so the sealer really want it to be probably above 55 yeah, the sealer doesn't level out as well because um, essentially polyacrylic or even Big Top is almost like plastic that yeah. you're putting on the top of things. So I think that's it. Um, we are going to distress the edges. If you guys haven't done so already, be sure to be checking our community tab. If you go to our page, it says community and that's where we'll post pictures. We'll post a finished staged picture of that project when we're all done. Um, and then thanks. We, we like the house. It's, it's been fun. People are like, I can't believe you have white couches, but honestly, they're super easy to clean. We just spray bleach cleaner on them and like the Clorox and then wipe it up and it comes up really good. Yep. Um, but also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We'll have more pictures of that. If you're local and you want to buy it, PM me, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So everybody's mostly just saying hi. So we're going to go ahead and sign off. And oh, will... be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com. Yeah. Um, the colors you're looking for are apothecary and white swan. That's what I mixed to get that color. Um, if you just bought apothecary, it would just be a richer color, but I wanted something soft. And then we're going to seal it with Big Top, which is also a DIY project. Are you showing them the pillow? Yeah, they wanted to see the pillow. Where'd you get this pillow oh, from? Oh, Target. Target pillow. Target. And the couch is from Ikea. We get asked that a lot. so. All right, you can get your knee off that. My son's over there. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching that. Hopefully that helps you out when you you're guys. getting ready to do your project. If you're watching this when we aren't live, comment below if you have any questions about spraying paint. We're happy to help you out. It's a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get started, you can finish your projects lightning speed.